If you want to think one year ahead, plant rice. If you want to think ten years ahead, plant trees. But if you want to think hundred years ahead, give education to people.
come downward from the back and put the story in the storage tank to recharge the ground water. We can also we can also see that uh, to the to the get to the use of the waste water. If uh, uh, the waste water of the kitchens and the and the bathrooms so in which uh, the water can downwards get collected and get to and get to the purify and to be uh, to recycled in the Nowadays, electricity has become a need of every single person. The use of electricity is increasing day by day. If we talk about the use, the loss of energy in electrical energy is being wasted for their various operations. We can use uh, if uh, and if but the but the human bio energy can uh, we can use it. Uh, if we can use it, then it will be very useful for uh, useful for us. Uh, if we talk about a single human person, it uh, they they walk uh, five three thousand to five thousand steps per day. We can convert this we can, uh, and we can convert uh, their food vibration into electrical energy by by using piezo electric crystal. The piezo electric crystal is a device which converts uh, mechanical stress into electrical energy. Now, Shubham will tell you about the model. Now I'm first of all. Now I'm going to tell you about our device, which is used in our model, capacitor. Capacitor is a device in which the band of piezoelectric crystal is made and placed. When the pressure is applied on the capacitor, the band of the piezoelectric crystal absorbs that pressure and start converting them into electricity. Suppose this is a this is an NH, and we have placed the capacitor below NH. When a when when vehicle when vehicle apply pressure on the NH, the the that pressure is absorbed by the capacitor and the capacitor converts it into electrical energy. When we when we apply pressure there, you can see that the two strip bulb start moving. We have used the same we have used the same phase one there also in, in the in the same NH. Now I'm I'm telling you how we can use this. We we have to take first a capacitor. We you we have to fix that capacitor below six centimeter under the under the NH. When our average weight, which is three two kg newton, is applied on the cap applied on the capacitor, the capacitor absorb that and send and send the, that pressure to piece, the band of the piezo electric crystal. The P the deform. The internal structure of the piezoelectric crystal starts deforming, and due to this, a chemical reaction takes place in it, and it can it and it convert pressure into electrical energy. On the same principle, in same principle can use in our homes also. When we are constructing our homes, we use the capacitor fixed in our floor, and when we walk on the floor, we apply pressure of two kg newton. Then the capacitor which is fixed under under the floor. Start con start converting the pre our pressure into electrical energy. This electrical energy is as enough for that we can we can use this energy for our home also and for we can conserve it for future also. The whole our the our whole model is the i we get the idea of our model from a country named Israel. Israel is a poor country in which this this whole piezo electric mod the piezo electricity is practicing. Topic on renewable resources. We have selected solar energy for conducting electricity. In this model, we have shown two different areas: solar society and solar village. In solar society, we know know that society needs more electricity as compared to a village. So we have made solar individual solar panels to work on individual houses. And in villages, we know that solar panels is very expensive. The government cannot afford it, so they will take help from the government to provide solar panels. As they provide solar panels, they will set up a power house to consume electricity, and then a transmitter to supply each and every household equally. We also know that solar energy is used only during the sun, only during the daytime when the sun shines, but it does not work during the night. And in the rainy season, so we have constant, we have taken the disadvantage of heat and constructed so concentrated solar power salt water desalination plant. In this, firstly, the sea water goes through a channel into a large dam. The dam comes, the dam is connected to two electrodes, anode and cathode. 
uh, as there is a large amount of salt in this ionic compound, when the process of electrolysis, the generator starts motor starts moving. As there is a moving portion, it produces heat, and this heat goes to the solar panels to produce electricity. We know that India uses uh, solar energy one percent, and the use of thermal power is more. Because of this, we burn coal, which causes air pollution and deforestation mining activities. And uh, this is um, this, by using this we are saving all this and escaping from all this problem. We can use it for uh, two purposes: the molten salt, uh, which is used to uh, uh, conduct electricity. The, uh, the water which evaporated, we will con uh, collect in a separate beaker, and by the process of condensation and it by the process of condensation and purification, the water which has left after evaporation, we can use it for our daily purpose use, for drinking and for our daily purpose. Our topic is renewable sources of energy and so we are using energy from waste water for generating electricity because water is a renewable resource. And in our project, the water that is being used for bathing, washing clothes, washing vegetables, we know that that water is directly thrown into the drain and is polluted and cannot be further used for any purpose. But we have came to a solution that we will use, we can use that water for generating electricity. Firstly, each house is from a, in a locality will have a separate drain for, for carrying that water and all the drains coming from each house will be merged into a single large drain. And at the mouth of the large gate, we will take a large pit and in the pit we will fix a turbine. Now the process continues here. We can see as the pressure of falling waste water will exert pressure on the turbine, the shaft will rotate and ultimately it will generate electricity. And that electricity, that generated electricity will be used by us to charge a battery which will, be, which will supply electricity in the locality when there is no electricity. We all know that electricity is cut, sometimes electricity is not there for 3 to 4 days and inverter also becomes discharged. But this method can be used for supplying electricity even in the absence of electricity by charging a battery in a power station.